everybody. Christian Ballard, Ballard Sports Media. It's a battle for the ACC. Is this going to be a potential rematch in the ACC title game? It's very likely. We got the Duke Blue Devils going to Doak Campbell Stadium Saturday night on ABC. It's going to be prime time, 7.30 p.m. Eastern here on the 21st. I'm excited for this game. I think this will be an offensive battle. I think there is some good defenses, too, when you look at, especially for Florida State. I think Duke has played pretty good defensively. You know, they uh, they have only allowed 133 rushing yards. They've allowed 146, uh, I'm sorry, 164, I read that wrong, passing yards. Whereas Florida State is actually higher in both of those categories. 141 for Florida State, and you look at 221 for passing yards for Florida State. 141 rushing, I should have clarified that. Duke has not lost a conference game, and they're coming off a big win over NC State, 24-3 from this past weekend. After taking a bye week after a Notre Dame loss, 21-14 at home, Florida State, they're undefeated, 4-0 in conference play. My pick to win the ACC. I think this is going to be round one, though. This is just round one. You know, I, I, I said going into the season, I said, Clemson is going to be there. Clemson's going to get better, but Florida State's the team to beat, I think. That Clemson at home will beat Florida State, but Florida State will get them in the rematch. I don't see Clemson being in the picture. In fact, they're not in the picture right now. When you look at this, you look at the standings. I take that back. I might, I forgot about a certain team. It might not be Duke, Florida. Florida State will be there, but it might be Florida State, North Carolina. Yeah, I'm looking at Florida State's schedule. They don't play North Carolina. I have, I'm not looking at North Carolina's schedule right now, but I would assume they could win out. They, they could probably do that. North Carolina, Florida State for the ACC title, but what about Duke? Their playoff hopes are on the line this season. Uh, th this weekend, I should say. This season, what's on the line? What's at stake? They need to win a major bowl game. They got to get there. I think that they can. Uh, Ted wins is possible. Nine at minimum for Duke. They're five and one right now. This is good. Gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Duke and Florida State. The spread has this game thirteen and a half for FSU. The over-under, 48 and a half. Honestly, I, I might take the, well, I'll take the over. I'll take the over on that one, big time. I, I would say, though, I don't think Florida State's going to cover the 13 and a half. In fact, if you look at my score prediction, which we'll share in a minute, I would say this could be, very well be a one-score game. I think it's going to be weird. I think this will be a weird type of game. You know when you have weird games with a couple field goals that shouldn't happen, someone goes up 9 to nothing, or someone tries a two-pointer or a pick six and stuff. I think this could be weird. This could go so many different ways. I don't think it's a shootout to say, but I, I I also don't think it's a defensive game where it'll be like 14 to 10 at the end of this. It's not going to be anything like that. Florida State, I, I love to win the ACC. I know they have to fall somewhere. I just, I don't think it's this game. I think Florida State with Jordan Travis and Keon Coleman and, and, the running back, Trey Benson, I, I think that trio of offensive weapons right there, the quarterback, the running back, the wide receiver, I think Florida State is on a mission this year. And I think those guys are on a mission. Trey Benson, 
running back. Keon Coleman, wide receiver, Michigan State transfer. Jordan Travis for Heisman. Am I still on that? I'm kind of dialed back on it a little bit. But I still think that he deserves to be a Heisman finalist. And I think he will be. I don't, I don't know if he's going to win it. I love his story. I love what he's doing. Now look at this game. I'm going to take Florida State to win. And I'll go ahead and give a score prediction. I do think it is a close game. The FPI has Florida State on the money right here. This is exact. 80% chance for Florida State to win. Only 20% chance for Duke. They don't like to, No, they... I don't think it's that they don't like Duke. I think they just love Florida State. 13 and a half. I don't think they're going to cover. I think Duke... Yes, they lose the game. But hear me out. They can play some close games. They only lost to Notre Dame by a touchdown, 21 to 14. Then last week was 24 to 3 against NC State. But also, Florida State struggled with Boston College, 31 29. Boston College ain't good. They're not that good. And they had to win in overtime against Clemson. Well, Duke beat Clemson. Duke beat Clemson. Is Duke a better team than Clemson this year? It seems like it. They are ranked. Clemson is not. Have a better record than Clemson. I'm not trying. I can't even think of that principle we always talk about. Someone let me know in the comments what it, what it is. It, it's the principle of this team beat this team by this many points. Whereas this team also played this team, but they beat them by a bigger margin or a smaller margin, however you look at it. So the team that won better over a certain opponent that they have in common with the team they're fixing to play, they should beat that team they're fixing to play. Doesn't make sense. That's not how college football works. College football works like this. If you want to win... You will do what it takes to win the game. Upsets happen all the time. We see it every Saturday. Almost every Saturday. Maybe every other. We've seen a lot of great surprising teams this year. We knew Florida State would be good. Did we expect them to be in the top four right now undefeated at 6-0? and No. I don't know. I, I, shoot. I think in the offseason I picked Clemson. I think I had... Florida State losing to Clemson on September 23rd. Well, then Florida State would win the rematch in the ACC title and go to the playoffs. Is this that scenario? See, Duke beat Clemson week one. Are they taking Clemson's place right now in my prediction book? Are they Clemson this year? Not to say, like, no, oh, they're going to have this amazing quarterback and they're going to... They're, they're going to win two national titles in the future. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. I'm saying in my book, Clemson and Florida State for the ACC title. Uh, it looks like it's going to be Florida State and Duke. Okay. <laughs> Someone, they're going to, you know, Clemson's going to beat Florida State in the regular season, but Florida State wins the rematch. What about this game with Duke? It's going to be something else. It's going to be something else. I go ahead and I give you a final score. I do think Florida State wins. I think it's close. One possession down to the wire. I think Florida State comes through. I don't know if it's going to be a game-winning drive or if it's going to be the defense shows up against Riley Leonard, who's a great quarterback, by the way. Oh, by the way, we compare the quarterbacks, Riley Leonard, 912 yards, three touchdowns, and a pick. Jordan Travis, over 1,000 yards, 13 touchdowns, and an interception. Trey Benson, compare him to the Duke running back, which we have heard quite a bit of, Jordan Waters. Uh, nine touchdowns for Waters, six for Benson, and, and I could go down the list. These offenses are loaded. They're going to be great. This is going to be a fun game to watch. I'm excited for it. Embrace it. Final score. 
32-27 Florida State. I got the Knowles winning this one. This will be great. I just, I do think they, re, they, I think they rematch. But I also, like, I, well, I don't know. It, North Carolina's undefeated. When does Florida State, they, they don't even play North Carolina. I'll tell you what's fixing to happen. <laughs> Duke plays North Carolina on the road on November 11th. That's a game to circle. North Carolina, let's say they win that game. Now, I'm not looking at North Carolina's schedule right now, so I don't know if they're going to lose before that or after that with NC State later in the year. I, I don't know. But it looks like if you had to, if the season ended today at championship weekend, you have the Seminoles and you have the Tar Heels. Can Duke stop that? And get to the ACC title. They need some help. NC State, or not NC State, but North Carolina's got to drop some ACC games. And they got to pray for a miracle that Florida State does the same. I don't think it's going to happen. Anyway, I love you guys. Jesus loves you. 32-27. I'm taking the Seminoles. They win by five points in this one. And they get it done against the Blue Devils at home. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Love you guys. Ballard Sports Media. Check it out. See ya. Peace.